Hey all, Chris Hassel here from TGT at Fan Expo Canada 2011. We're here at the Clutch booth with the lead actress, of course. She is known as Clutch. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. You know, this is a, a wonderful series. We got to see the first four episodes online, and to say that it is, it is, it is action-packed, it is sexy, it is exciting, it is exhilarating, and it's suspenseful would kind of summarize, at least I hope, what Clutch is. Why? Thank you so much. So you did see it then? I did get to see it, yes. It was really, you know, I cursed it that it was only four episodes, but I mean, it was, I wanted more. That's the great thing about this. That makes me very happy to hear. So what, what is it about this series that, that drew you to be the, well, one, the lead character, and, and two, what experiences do you draw from it? Um, this series happened to be something that I fondled upon or found very, very accidentally on Craigslist and um, didn't really didn't really give it much of a thought since it's not something that my agent sent me out to get, but I did read the description that Jonathan Robbins posted and there was something about the way that he structured it that seemed like it had substance, it had um, creative possibilities I applied and ended up getting the lead and the only thing that I know from from him is that um, well I looked like Kylie in his eyes but experience wise is that what you asked what experience I can draw from well let's just say I grew up in Bulgaria on the streets I've stolen I've done all sorts of stuff that Kylie would do and not that she's a bad girl or she's necessarily wanting to be a thief but she's forced to live this lifestyle and uh, looking to um, make the best of it. With this being a web series, the, this seems to be the new medium for for you know up and coming indie style television shows or soon to be television shows. I think it would be a shame if Clutch doesn't make it to actual TV. But you know, with, with the other actors that and actresses that you're working with, you know, how how do you play off of each other when it comes to these types of demanding scenes? I don't know. For me, it's a little bit different. I. I come to set with my own, I've embraced this character so deeply and so, I, 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 it's me, really, so I'm not, I can't really answer that properly, to be honest with you, because they, when I show up, I really do show up right on time, ready to go and shoot, and whatever they have to bring, they bring, and it always seems to work out, and I think that really has to do with Jonathan picking the right um, actors for the right roles, and so far we've had um, some surprises in terms of how things turn out, you know, there's no rehearsal whatsoever at all not even lines some people some actors have tried to, to rehearse lines with me and and I kind of run it here and there I like to just show up and and be authentic and just do what I want to do and see how they play it and that's that's the thing that some actors don't like about me actually I'm like oh what a surprise but uh, that's some of the most authentic and uh, good stuff comes out that way but it's been great all the actors are very committed very loyal always there always Ready, ready to work and put their heart into it and so that's probably why this looks so good so far it's acting is good and that's that's the great focal point of this entire show is I'm trying to boost myself over here <laughs> we're all like all of us have given whatever we can so yes yeah, sorry to interrupt you. no no not at all no this is good stuff because the, the next question is you know fan expo it's the largest canadian convention out there you know we have you know, hundreds upon thousands of people come in to see the different genres what is it about this genre that that fans have been describing to you as they meet you in all honesty i'm not going to lie to you i have not had enough time to spend here to in in order to give you a proper answer i just got here half an hour ago and i came yesterday for two hours and um really um, i haven't had a chance to talk to too many people i think a lot of people are just curious because they see one word and they see clutch and what could clutch be and then two females so um i've just seen a lot of a lot of males coming by and just asking what is this about what is that about <laughs> I haven't had enough enough feedback
back. Well, how about this then? Um, you know, being here, being at this convention, this is a, 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 a surreal experience for, for many people. First time yeah, coming to the convention. Yeah, it's my first time here too, yeah. Fan Expo, large Canadian convention. Once this wraps up, once you head back and you continue shooting, of course, with, with Clutch, you know, what personal experiences are you going to take away from this? Hmm, interesting question. I think the one thing that sticks out right now without even trying to, uh, let me just try and word this, try to word this properly. I'm observing the different people that are here and I'm realizing the different audiences that this is potentially attracting. It's not going to change the way that I am and who Kylie is, but it does it does make me think about who is here and who are these people and the people that are sitting at home, whether it's the 17 year old or the 58 year old and you know male and or females. It's been very very interesting to see people that are coming here. The only thing that I can take away with it is. Um, I hope that I can relate to as many of them as possible. That's it. I can resonate better, resonate in some way with some of them. Very good. Well, you have another interview lined up. I'm not going to take up any more of your time here. I really appreciate you taking this to engage with me in this wonderful series. And I hope for you the very best in everything. And may this be picked up by a major syndicate. Thank you so much. And you keep watching. I will. Thank you.